I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. Today we're going to answer a viewer question from Pete in Milford, Delaware. Pete wrote in, he said, I had a consultation with a lawyer several years ago about filing for bankruptcy. Afterwards, I was in a car accident where I crashed into somebody. Now I'm getting sued and the lawyer suing me is the same lawyer that I met with for the bankruptcy uh, case. Isn't that illegal? And the, it's a good question, Pete. It could be illegal. It might not be illegal. What it, what you're talking about, what this is called, is a potential conflict of interest. In other words, a lawyer is bound by the rules of professional conduct, and one of the rules has to do with conflicts of interest. So, for example, Pete, if you came to me and uh, you hired me to defend you for the ticket case. Let's say in that car accident, you got the ticket. You came to me and you hired me for the ticket case. Um, and we beat the ticket, we won. And then the person that you hit came to me and wanted me to represent them in the personal injury case against you. That would be a conflict of interest because I can't defend you on one day in the in the ticket case in the car accident matter and then on the next day represent the person you hit coming against you that is a direct incurable conflict of interest but you're not talking about representation in the same matter you're talking about representation years prior in a different matter and so it's not a direct conflict of interest the question is did the lawyer get any information from you in that confidential bankruptcy consultation that that lawyer might now use against you now that he's representing someone else against you. If, if you gave him information or gave her information that now is going to be used against you, then that could be a conflict of interest. But I would say uh, unless that situation exists, there probably is no conflict of interest preventing that lawyer from going against you now. So a lawyer can be on your side in the beginning, go against you later. You know, quite frankly, in the state of Delaware, where it's a pretty small state and everyone tends to know one another, especially downstate, you know, where there might be just a handful of attorneys in a small town or in a smaller geographic area, it's not incredibly uncommon to run into this situation. Uh, but I hope that answers your question. I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. If you have questions for me relating to the law, relating to personal injury litigation or practice, send me an email. My email address is ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com.